Least recently used is a caching strategy in which the most recently used results are prioritized while the least recently used results are evicted. Python provides an easy way to implement an LRU cache using the functools.lru cache decorator. Let's implement it in our code. It's part of Python's functools module, so the setup is super simple. Here's how it works. This decorator sits on top of the function and stores its results. The max size parameter defines the size of the cache, and here it means it'll only remember the last three unique inputs. Let's try this out. See how it printed computing only for new inputs? That's because once the result is in the cache, it skips the computation and just reuses the stored value. But when we called compute5 and the cache was full, it kicked out the least recently used item, which in this case was 3. Let's understand it with visuals. LRU cache is built on two main components, a dictionary for storing the cached results and a doubly linked list to track the order in which items are accessed. Initially, the cache is empty, but when we call the function with argument 2, the result gets stored in the dictionary and 2 is stored in the list and marked as most recently used. Next, the same thing happens when we call the function with argument 3, because that's also a cache miss situation. But when we call the function again with argument 2, this becomes a cache hit situation as the result is already computed and stored in the dictionary. With this, the position of two shifts again in the list. When we call the function with a different argument, the result gets stored in the dictionary and that argument is added to the list and marked as most recently used. Up to here, the cache is full, but when we call the function with argument 5, you know what's going to happen. This is a cache miss situation, so to accommodate the result in the cache, the least commonly used argument, which in this case is 3, gets evicted from the list. Think of it as a queue where new items join at the end, and old unused items fall off the front. Simple and efficient. Okay, think what happens if we don't define the max size parameter? Well, this parameter is by default set to size 128, but if we define it like this, the cache grows infinitely. Lastly, if you're curious about what's happening inside the cache, you can check the cache info using this function. This gives us stats like hits, misses, and current size. So, to sum it up, the LRU cache decorator is a great tool to optimize your code, especially for expensive or repetitive computations. With just a few lines of code, you get a caching mechanism. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python goodness.